This first-person defender scenario surprises an off-duty deputy, and a robbery turns into a shootout. This is First Person Defender. In this episode of First Person Defender, Deputy Jordan Ellis faces a challenge pulled from the headlines and learns to check his surroundings. Based loosely on the shooting in Nevada, where a couple killed police officers, then entered a store to kill as many as possible, a good guy with a carry permit engaged the man, but didn't see his female accomplice, who shot and killed the Good Samaritan. By the time he's done here, Jordan will learn a valuable lesson. My name's Jordan Ellis. I'm from West Monroe, Louisiana. I work for the Washtenaw Parish Sheriff's Office as a deputy at the Correctional Center. I got started shooting at four years old, shooting 22s. I started out shooting handguns around 18 years old, decided to get into a little bit of competition. And when I got old enough to legally carry a firearm, I started venturing into more of the self-defense side of it. Jordan's got a lot of background. He's got law enforcement background already. He's got shooting and competitive shooting background. He reminds me a lot of myself as a young man, and he's going to be fun to have in this scenario. So Jordan, what we've got here is a scenario. It's probably something that you've already seen. This is a convenience store. You're going to be coming in here to get whatever it is you get, whether it's a cup of coffee, a jug of milk, whatever it is. But you're going to react to whatever stimulus is you know, produced for you. I'm just trying to play it as realistic as I can and try to learn something new. In this convenience store scenario, there's a clerk and several customers. Not all the customers, though, are there to buy something. Almost 20 years ago, um, when I first started in law enforcement, uh, I went through this exact same scenario. I thought I was going to win the day. I went right for my gun without checking anything else around me, and I got shot in the back with uh, all six chambers of a revolver, and I can tell you I've never forgotten that. I think that if uh, Jordan does things the way I did it, he'll never forget it either. The crew is set up. Camera operators and other crew in yellow shirts are considered to be invisible. <clears throat> you see the game last night? Yeah, yeah. man, I saw it. <laughs> Nobody move. Nobody move. Yeah, I had my head up looking around. I noticed the bad guy pull out his gun and start demanding for money. I want the money out of the cash register. Get the money. Give me the weapon. Give me the money. So what happened? Uh, I came in, I was getting a, a poncho since we we're getting a rainstorm this evening. I saw you draw a weapon, holding the clerk up, gave you a command to drop the weapon. And I thought I saw somebody moving, but I couldn't tell what was going on. Next thing you know, I was getting shot up. Yeah, I got shot four or five times right in the rib cage. Yeah, where'd you get it? Uh, oh, yeah, turn around once. Yeah. Holy moly, but not before I got I got shot several times, head, side, arm. Wow, look at all those good hits you got on me. What did I, you do before you drew on me? I didn't scan to see the other people inside the room. Didn't check your six, didn't check your area of operation. Uh, when I walked in, there was a lady with a purse just looking at the, at the uh, shelves. And I didn't identify her as a threat, and I let her get behind me. There's a saying that wolves travel in packs. It's not uncommon for there to be an outlier, someone pretending to be a customer who is covering the primary criminal. This is why trainers stress checking your surroundings and not getting tunnel vision. Note the backup bad guy in the corner. Jordan never saw her. He did a really good job of doing it wrong because, I mean, everybody else in the store is going to have their head up. They're going to be looking around, looking for exits, looking for places to hide, looking for other bad guys. They're all looking for the same thing you're looking for. So when he did that and he got the gun out and his shoulders were up like this, you know, and in that standard, you know, tacty cool kind of position, I mean, that's target number one for me. As an experienced bad guy, I would have smoked him right there. Coming up on First Person oh Defender. Jordan gets a second chance. Give me the money. Give me the money. 